Okay, that's on. Oh, he's burning. He's burning at 80% already. Lovely. The one that's on fire oh, that's at the left of everybody? Yeah, I, I got a nice shot into his machinery space, and now he's he's toasty. Hmm. Um, oh, I he's attacking you. Yes, the Shimmy. Yes, those Nostra on sale now, again. Oh I shit! Thought, yeah, they lowered the price to 6k. Yeah, yeah, I'll take her. I'll, I'll, I'll take her. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I didn't realize... Oh, right, the Russian Navy stuff, yeah, yeah. So I'll pick her up. There's I think also that, that some other thing that's, like, soy or something. Soy and it's whatever. It's 4k. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not even close. It's a it's a seven U. So I mean, it's it's a piece of crap, basically. It's a Russian well, it's ship. I consider it technically a piece not of crap. bad, but so, uh, it's how, how, not nearly comparable. So how does Nesshimi differ from Spooky? Uh, uh, practically no way. Better <laughs> SL modifier. Yeah, I think she's also slightly I slower. If I'm not mistaken, bag. but uh, yeah, I think you can do forty three. It's not forty five, not forty eight. But it practically does not matter, and like, as far as one should what one should concern themselves with, it's a premium spooky. Well, that's the main takeaway. Well, that was one of my spooky anyway, so uh, let's go. Yeah, I mean, for most of the hey, it's, it's getting so the SL. What I what I noticed is that uh, that the rear mag is much lower in the water, so it's harder to nice versus spooky. I'm getting her because she's premium, and I therefore can skip a lot of, uh, I like yeah, a lot of headaches with regards to early right, game right. with Russia. Yeah, I like. Although I'm probably good. just gonna buy Kirch anyways, so why am I buying Spooky? Back or up. rather, I mean, Back even up. then, honestly, like Kirch over overperforms in a sense that it really does everything you need, and then some. So there's really very little, if any, reason. Is that Duke uh, Alistair? Yeah, yeah, it's a Duca. Yeah. So it's a Duca with better AA at 5.0. It's an Italian uh, 53 with better AA at 5.0. <laughs> sounds about right. I, I kind of want to get it, but I'm poor as shit. I'm going to get it in due time, so to speak. Should I leave some, some kills over for you guys? It's like. I mean, depends on whether you want our team to have battleships or not, is the question. Like, I don't have battleship, so... Yeah, that's what I was saying. It depends if you want our team to have battleships or not. Yeah, because yes. I have 70 spawn points. I have 500. Like, we could absolutely keep playing our cruisers. I'm sure I'm sure that that's fine by some people's standards, the enemy especially. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna just go focus the big ships then. Okie dokie. Have a nice day. There is a relatively largish looking cruiser you mean the, you mean the Northampton? Bruh! No, I mean the Hawkins. You mean the Northampton that just blew up? You shot a Leningrad. No, I mean yeah, this Hawkins I, over here. No, I mean this Northampton. That's like. Oh, I hadn't burning. even noticed that one yet. Uh, it's front two guns are out. Yeah. Just so you're aware, because hey hey, Northampton ammo rack. Hmm. Yeah, it's a ship that does not like being too close. It's almost like 8-inch cruisers aren't supposed to be used within 10k. Yeah. She's a terrifying ship at range. Like, absolutely terrifying. Yeah, um, but that's why I... Go, if you want to free kill, go for front of Northampton. I'm going for, for the, the Moffat. Mostly because, like, the Northampton is hurt. It's gonna recover. That That is recoverable. So just keep pressure on it. Oh. Well, it's more that, like, I've detonated both its front magazines. Yes, and they can, it can recover from that. Head it's on. not going to like it, but it can recover from that. Like that's what I wanted. So, don't hesitate to keep shooting it, is my point. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, so obviously the, the disgusting discovery we made while you were restarting your computer was the Navy seriously considered converting Iowa and Wisconsin into oilers. That, that's an interesting design change. <clears throat> they decided it was too expensive. Go yeah, figure. that's fair. 
That, that's a pretty major conversion. Yeah, deletion of all of the turrets. Um, installation of Mahusive tanks. Oh, there we go. Convoy front, yeah. Uh, which bomb would be best to take now? Well, um, probably the B one. If you have a float plane, then you can make your way over to. I don't. Scouting B, okay then. You can still make your way over to scouting, yes. Depends on what your. Uh, yeah, um, ideally though, you would have a float plane. Do none yeah. of us have a float plane, just for the record? No. That's worrying. So we are at a foundational disadvantage when it comes to dealing with the carrier. I have not got a single float plane on any of my ships. I have a float plane on Kronstadt. <laughs> okay, that, that saves us trouble. Yeah, like, I'm gonna spawn the Svetlov. On a side note, uh, Elon, you may want to bring a Kirov as something to be able to carry your spot in the uh, times where you are not using a Kronstadt. Uh, I don't have a Kronstadt. Yes. Yet. Yes, that's my point. In the time that you don't have a Kronstadt. Keep a Kirov on yeah, I should what probably uh, swap Jafaya with Kirov. Yeah, Svetlov is just Jafaya with two more AA guns anyway, so... And just bigger Chapayev. You're all reporting. It's, well, yeah, it's mainly just that you have better AA. Everything else uh, is the same. Now, can you into Kunstadt? No. Such. So I'll, I'll take Svetlov to B then, I guess. Ideally, I choose Svetlov like as a mini capital and just demolish their team. To be fair, That's the uh, Royal yeah, Navy considered it to be treated as a mini capital. The Royal Navy considered the uh, what should we call it? Oh no, that wasn't the Royal Navy. That was the British press. They considered the Dutch to be a pocket battleship. Well, to which be fair, I, I forever consider to be a disingenuous description of the ship. Well, it makes sense conceptually because it's a light cruiser hull. I'm not calling that shit a bow anything. She's a battle cruiser. She's just a 1930 very cruiser heavy. She's a 1930 version of an armored she, cruiser. She's yeah. a heavily armored cruiser. Armored cruiser. Those armored. Arm, not armored. Not armored. The 80 uh, mil belt's not exactly armored. Yes. I like. Des Moines yeah, has twice the belt. Oh, not even just Des Moines. Cleveland has a bigger belt by over 50%. No, I know. It's just Des Moines played the Grash Bay in a movie. Yeah, That's yeah. pretty funny. Oh, the belt. River plate moments. But yeah, like as far as like I, I I consider the term pocket battleship to be the worst possible description they could have taken for that ship. Like there are a lot of descriptions you can provide for whatever the fuck the was targets. and the Panzer ships in general, but man, calling her a battleship wow. That said, she's a modernized armored cruiser. Yeah. Oh the carrier. I see you. Nice. Distinctly yeah. Separate idea. And empty. I hope our team isn't fucking pummeling down the carrier already. Oh no, they're not. Thank fuck. We haven't located it. Yet. It's only this Northampton, and it's. I hope he has an idea what he's doing. Um. Well, so far he's not shooting the carrier, so that's nice. Some dick in a Z-43 happened to do a perfect torpedo movement on me because I was dumb and not paying attention. I took an entire broadside of torpedoes to the face. Me win. <laughs> I mean, better than taking a broadside of nukes. Same effective... Uh, if result. that was ever a consequence or risk in this game, I, I don't think I'd be playing this game anymore. Gunstock shells. Oh, I was no, thinking those ain't new KC. You were thinking what? There's KC. actual nuclear shells. Yeah, the 16 inch nuclear shells for the Iowas. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Gaijin when? You. That's Just a big you. Probably never Jewish. specifically because it's not Russian. I have no idea how they would model it. Just a big bursting charger or what? Well, yeah, you can just pump up the TNT equivalent. And the problem is, of course, that that means that this is just another symbol of HE spam. And I am I hope you guys know my opinion on that stuff. Yeah. What if you make it a sep shell? 
This is why we are working. Equally together. disgusting, if not worse. <laughs> like uh, the problem with SAP and HE is they both symptoms of an HE meta, and that's the problem, really. Like it jerks off the wrong kind of weaponry. Do you want to know what the uh, payload of a W23 shell is? We're gonna get something around lines of 69 kilos of. Well, actually, no. It would be a lot of conventional munition there. Probably really small, but the relative equivalence of explosive nuclear explosives are substantially higher. Twenty-five. I'm guessing, to, I'm guessing three kilotons. Fifteen to twenty. Yeah, oh. it, it's going to be measured in kilotons, but that's a TNT equivalence rather than a true mass. Now, like yeah. the amount, the amount at one kiloton. Of it's TNT very small. Is, in terms of the nuclear payload, that's tiny. Yes. Did they split the carrier? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure. No, they <laughs> nice. did not. That, that is, I can assure you that if you saw 14k tickets out of 15k, you did not spot the carry. Because <laughs> right? it cuts around like 2k tickets, so they'd have, we'd have at yeah. least 13k left. Uh, fuck, Northampton issued in the carrier. Destroy the target! Please. Absolute retard. I'm a ram him. Let's see if I can ram him in time. No. Yeah. Please. No. We, we have no. We have currently no float planes, right? No. Uh, mm, no. And we're. It's already fucking listing. Or we're gonna probably fucking lose it. Love it. Absolute retard. Uh, 5.6 away from. Okay, you're gonna need another 1.6 1. to get there. Good luck. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, again, the problem is that the dumbass didn't fucking listen and he just fucking shot the fucking thing like an idiot. Uh, the carrier is no longer listing. This is also why float planes just no more wild goose chase bullshit, which is really convenient. Please guide you. At Please least he's like listening. Yeah, at least he's learning. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. It's the nice progress to... compared to some other players, definitely. Yes. Art destroyed so... slash depth underscore charge. Yeah. This pillock yeah. in his genie or whatever the hell this. Yeah, Genier was taking. He had yes. hedgehogs on it. I do. I do say ultimately the blame for this really shitty mechanic lies with Gaijin because it's a terrible game mechanic. Yeah, but at the same time, while we have to deal with it, I'm going to blame the players. It's also the fact that it's like less than five thousand yards. Yeah, it's a pretty awful margin. That's a Southampton. Great. Overall, it's it's just a dog. Don't get there. spotted. What I like the spotting in terms of actual ticket mechanics is that you gain tickets for spotting itself, so it incentivizes you to actually yeah, spot it. it. Yeah. The issue is that it's not communicated that you don't get points. You shouldn't not get points for destroying the carrier if you destroy the carrier without spotting it. Yeah, I don't mind that we have roaming roaming objectives, I just hate how they're designed, basically. Yeah. It should be a case of, if you spot it, you get bonus points. Yeah. Well, ultimately, I would like it to be a very reward-intensive mechanic without the... Because it is, well, which is nice. some dude just jailed his the... enemy. <laughs> So I just got a hood. <laughs> nice. Oh, but yeah, it would be nice to have corona shell intensity without necessarily being so ticket intensive. Yeah. Right? What do you want? Shall we push C? Shall we push C then? Push C? Sure. Gunners are searching for then I chair and spawn targets. me too and then can tow you. <laughs> but it's gone faster than hood. Well, then it's going to be faster um, than me yes. stock. 33 knots. Hood is 30. Huh? Nice. Or, I think Quinn might be a little more than 30. I think she's like, uh, 32. Fuck. 
But she was 32 not... when her down? machinery was new. I think it's 32 in game as well. I yeah. Believe. She's uh, faster than Congo, that's all I know. Hmm. It's also so, yeah, 10,000 tons bigger than Congo. What are we going to rush? Yeah. D. We've destroyed the enemy's base. Now, Ball victory map. will surely be easy. Nice. I found a parcel. That now. I found a parcel in his Detroit's. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay, John. Time to hooking up. Flush. Okay, yeah. Give me a tug. Oh, 18 minutes and we have two capsules. Navy, give me a tug? Well, yeah, that sounds about... <laughs> well, it's not that bad. You see the latest one about Prince William ha having an extramarital affair because he has a thing for getting pegged. That's, uh... What? Uh, I mean, it is a royal family, after all. Yeah, I know. I mean, the, the, the pegging part is the weird bit. I was thinking the historical record of, ro of uh, European nobles, and royals in particular. That's, that's not the weirdest thing. That is definitely not the weirdest thing that has come out of a royal family. Yeah, I'm aware, but like, it's the weirdest thing I've heard in recent times. Perhaps, but like, you compare that to the, to the quote-unquote good old days, and I think that this is, I think we have to come back, we have to step up our game. We really aren't, like, fulfilling the and you accursed... I, I, my we're really not on. Crusader kings as much as our forefathers. I don't see the thing flashing up. Yeah. I, I propose we reintroduce oh, strategic I'll, marriage. I'll yes. Uh, I'll wait for me to get a girlfriend. I was gonna say it would be something much funnier to way. contribute to that. Yeah. That was gonna say like it's it, it is strategic. Oh. Wow. After all. But the wait. main point is you can start min maxing your wives. No, there isn't a cable. Okay, we aren't attached. No. Uh I'll just Go no, no he exploded. Idea. He exploded. Yeah, I got his yeah. his ammunition oh, there. Wait, 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 it worked for a minute. Uh, there hey, we, there go. we go. We're latched. Let's go. Attention to the map. Oh, it would be hilarious if we can get C because easy carrier farm. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. I think we can probably make a push there. If we get Kronstadt and Hood at the right timing, then we we're can probably just, make that push. I mean, like, I think we're as uh, in 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 tandem with a bunch of light fleet assets. Oh, this, okay, yeah, yeah, because like, honestly, so the light fleet guys they sit in the cap, while the Kron and the Hood sit right outside of it, and and the light fleet assets are the ones gonna they're gonna okay, probably we, we kill you, Cap. More importantly, they probably kill the coastal already, unless they're anemic at doing that, and then you guys are gonna have to do that. Aren't we also sort of light fleets? Yeah, cruisers I consider light fleet. I, anything that's not capital, basically. Yeah. Because, like, another thing, like, uh, light fleet is pretty great, it is destroying the destroyers. Although, I'll probably be in, in a hood. Although, Crush Set does kill the destroyers just fine. I mean, That's, hood kills destroyers oh, just fine. They've got a crown as well. Well, worse. It, it overpenetrates, and yeah, you're going to be in a position where you can actually be quite exposed to yeah, light fleet. I'm aware. Where but cross last, I can kind of just one and done them. Last match, Opti, I got 25 kills in hood against destroyers. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like, one like it's absolutely a not a pure um, opponent. Let me be clear there, but it yes. is not the ship designed to fight those things. No, that's what you're is really for. comfortable with. Yeah, like I, I will find myself. Feeling way more vulnerable in a hood than a Kronstadt if I push into a port. Should know, I don't appear to be going any faster. Yeah, that's what I was considering. Light guys. Uh, you're gonna be in a hood as well? Yes, like correct. 27. No. Guess I'll be the only light fleet as asset we have. So true, Luffy. Yeah, also, uh, they apparently have a Kron in uh, A. Oh, good. Interesting. Okay. So uh, true. Shoot from here, so well, yeah. they have a Dornier two seventeen though. We um, we do at least. We, yeah. Where did our plane go? I think it got shot down. Oh. Oh. Well. 
because he was off to go bomb it. A you know, maybe so I should have spawned an A or E, whatever. The A direction. Yeah. Well, that's annoying. On the right yeah. side, we have three capitals pushing him to. Yeah. So if oh, they don't oh. rush E. And victory will be ours. I don't see that them as wrong. Which I don't really see happening right now. Um, right. Northy Parks. Um, because, like, I'll say if they push into E, we have a massive crossfire on them. Wait, wait, hold up. Do we have an attack assist to capture any port at C3? Okay. Now we do kind of want to push into C. <laughs> because we C have those C3 two ADs. Yeah. No, C3 is E, is C. Oh, hmm. C3 is A. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. We're going to. We're, yeah, well, A is that's B3. Fun. I kind of want to, like, shepherd these two AIDDs so that they don't push into A and so they just get into C and then they get stuck there. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, so, Northy Park's explorer map or cargo port now has spawns on top of the skyscrapers. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it was kind of funny because we were just testing that out as I wanted to demonstrate napalm to a friend earlier. So he spawned a tank and I ended up on top of the uh, thing. Turns out Baltimore. Sorry. Because, is... wait. Okay. Like, do you see this destroyer next to me? Uh, like, the, the wreckage. No, I'm shooting at a Northampton. That's just. There's just, like, destroyer wreckage dancing here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they that, do that. It does that. <laughs> it just works. Uh, I had so a nice picture, a uh, video of them in sort of equidistant patterns doing synchronized dancing. swimming. Oh, yeah, like, they're doing that right now. They are all dancing. Nice, 15 it's seconds. Synchronized swimming. It's, it's like synchronized swimming where they, they breach the surface <laughs> with their legs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fun seeing the damage, the shell splash counter just tick down for half. Oh, there's my shells. Attack the A point! A little more effort, and victory will be yours. Attack the A point. I mean, do I make it turn faster than your normal speed? No. Oh. I'm doing 27 knots. I was doing 27 knots before we tie tied up. Damn it! Don't um, fix it probably or something. Well, I don't know. I don't know what your top. I don't know what your current top speed is. I'm 27. I'm not doing more than your top speed then. Can't. Mm. I'm just dealing with this the American child. Bratty American. Oh well. Like it's roughly really fletcher shaped good. objects. It might be. It could be the guy in the uh, Jenny Air. Mm. Why are you spotting our boat spot? Like, he's probably dead with the cell phone. He is nuts. Next. That guy? Hunter something or other? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think that the car is trying to push. I, I see white oh. on the side of the hull that could very well be Hiragana. <laughs> so today I learned the musical term butt rock. Amazing. Yes. Do you know what I butt know, rock is? No, I do not. Butt and rock? I um, know exactly which video you were talking about. How was you good at? You know exactly which video I was talking about? Well, yeah, 12 Tone. And I kind of posted yeah. it in the music channel. <laughs> uh, oh, you did? Yeah. Um, the butt rock basically is... Um, dumb? D dumbed down music for the sake of being music. Huh. Right. And appealing to the masses. So, not quite Muzak, but... As in, not quite the manufactured, manufactured music, but, like, that rock stuff, you know. Hmm. So, first wave butt rock is stuff like... Um, Bon Jovi. Ah. 
or well, Kiss. What's wrong with Bon Jovi? There's nothing wrong with it, but it's, it's just, definitely it's markedly... Not, it's not highbrow. I don't know what that term means in the context of music, to be really honest, because... Compared to I know some, that there's... It's not experimental alt-rock, you know. It's very much simple, catchy stuff for the mass consumption of the masses. Is there this anything is wrong, a, like, another way of describing pop. <laughs> but basically... Yeah, like but as opposed is to pop... Is there anything wrong with that, Carrier? No, there's uh, nothing no, wrong pop with is it. Fine. I'm not very fond of pop, but... No, but that's a matter of taste. The, yeah, the point is yeah. that pop as a, as a genre is yeah. fine. It's well crafted. It's no, it knows what it does. It's, but, it's perfectly like, it's respectable in that, right? But rock is mindless, easy listening. Yeah. Um, and it's basically music is yeah like, meant, meant to feel good anyhow. Yeah. Or evoke something. But it doesn't really evoke anything. It's just it nice. evokes a sense of happiness, goodwill, etc. Yeah. Ease of. Enjoyable melody, uh, yeah, like, like that like in itself is merit. So hair metal is typically considered to be a type of butt rock. Hair metal. Yeah, hair yeah, metal. As far as like that, that's essentially like a hyper minutia demonstration of pop. pop. Yeah, like the then, term pop itself is just also, pop like, music. The, the term butt rock as well, like that's it makes it sound like. It's like appeals to the masses, so it's bad music. Well, it's that it appeals to the masses, therefore it's not the peak perfection. That is what every musician should be seeking, type thing. It's not the experimental, thought-provoking stuff like Led Zeppelin, etc. But the thing is that that's also kind of like assuming that the linear there's a linearity to music as it. Well, the problem with that mindset is that that's yes, not really it, how that's music way, works. Yeah, I know. Basically. That's the whole thing, yeah, though. Right. But, like, as a genre, that's kind of well, why it's derided. Right, yeah. but then people deride pretty much every form of rock because yeah. they can't even seem to get along whatsoever. But the thing is, is that... Like, but rock if you is, look at... Uh, but rock I think is my favorite music is... Because it does its job. Yeah, I think the main thing is just that when people look at, for example, the bickering between... Uh, which, for example, heavy metal and new metal. For example, yeah. that's an easy example of, like, the the variations, stylistic uh, variations, are as big as they like to claim. But the divide between the communities is massive, and I think that that's a bit hilarious. Hmm. Like, it it is not really that dramatic yeah. of a shift as it sounds when you listen when you talk to one of the fans. But it's, like, it's very, oh sorry, well, metal ship. Uh, Wyoming, in front of us. Contact. No. Contact. That's exactly the thing that Hood likes to shoot at. Wyoming. Contact. Also, uh, Hanko 177, so I would very much not like to get killed by that Wyoming. Yeah, um, let me get the guns around. Wyoming, is he looking at you? Yes. Oh boy. Guns, guns, guns bearing, or is he still in the process of turning them? He just fired two salvo. Uh, all right, that's great. That's good. Well, yes, like, that is very thanks. good. Okay, Wyoming. All located. right, it's Wyoming. He does. Jackal. He is firing at me. Yeah, he's he does jackal. Oh, no. Uh, guns no longer bearing at me. No, he looks like he's decided to fire at Mag instead. That's However, a big mistake. My salvo is incoming. I missed. Okay, give him some AP Typical. in a minute. No, I have to prepare. Um, but yeah, so that's... Like, yeah. Oh, like, the contrast between metal genres, all in all, isn't that large. Like, the song structure and kind of rhythmic things used are very common across different genres of metal. Well, the main point in regards to music is that they are... It's a very, like... I would say interdisciplinary, but it's the same discipline. Uh, the fact of the matter is that for example, if you want to look at one of the most influential cross-genre music genres in recent time, it's R&B. Because yeah. it has been the source of some of the greatest innovations in, well, rhythm and beat. Well, what a surprise, right? But changes to cadence, the ways that we use percussion, these have all been very heavily influenced by R&B, to the point where every genre uses the innovations from it. And yeah, exactly. th these like are, like, functionally simply technical innovations as in understandings of how to use brakes and other things like that they are very technical but they have been quite influential to all of music right 
And in the same fold, pretty much every other genre, if it gets big enough, it will spread technological or technical ad adaptings and innovations to everybody yeah. else. Because everybody like, hears it and they go, oh, that's a clever thing to do. And they use it. Like, absolutely. Like, um, that's like genres will be mixed and all that. Oh, absolutely. Mm. The, the, the concept of a genre is effectively just a categorization for products. Yeah. So if you want to buy a and product the, and you yeah. want to know where to find it, yeah, the thing is that there are, will be trends, but there is a lot of mixing. Yeah. But Granted, like, if you go across the spectrum, you'll find that classical is quite different from noise, but that's, you have to get there, you know what I mean? And the path there is very blended. It's not, there's no clear breaks, so to speak. It, it sort of slides into the next. Which is, in a sense, that, that is kind of the point. Strangely, staccato is not a very prominent part of the genre. Mm. <laughs> no, but Clear to find breaks. So like, the genre definition for butt rock is basically that it's easy listening, mass produced music, potentially mass produced music, right? That is typically a counterculture to slash derived from the preceding sort of era of popular music. That would be at some point. <laughs> I oh, would we'll just but like we'll call it pop rock. Yeah, no, let's say like does does Franz Ferdinand count here? I don't know, but like the Franz example Ferdinand's of more, in, more like indie and all that. Like it's absolutely indie. It's alt rock, absolutely alt rock, but it's yeah. also a counterculture piece. So, so I'm like, does it count? Uh, like the thing is, is that alt rock kind of killed butt rock the, the first time. It sounds like they are kind of, you know, they're doing the same job. I know, because like alt rock and grunge. Killed uh, butt rock, which is like hair metal, as, as in we're talking like. I like how grunge parodied itself, by the way. Yes, because <laughs> grunge ended uh, up becoming something that needed to be a parody of itself. Also, is somebody spotting the carrier yet? No. Nope. Yes. Is somebody spotting the carrier? Wait. Oh, we, we do have uh, a full plane out. Uh, yeah, I'm good. gonna start moving into C. There should be like uh, good idea. only one. Yeah, like that's. There's like a, uh, one. There's two Yeah, there's one. Already, maybe. My plot pane went over to D. Okay, <laughs> maybe it is just the one. Oh, you're sending it the wrong direction? That's. Help no, are you? Didn't. Well, somebody sent a plot pane <laughs> over Muskrat's head, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely two coastal RC, they're right next to each other. Yeah, my full okay. thing is in. Uh, yeah, next time send D4. it like send it firstly to aspect it to the carrier because if you leave it alone, it's gonna just float off to somewhere. Generally, the first thing I do with the float plane is I make sure that it's pointing at the at the target, and then I and then I relieve it. Also, apparently they're making quite a big push for F. Supposedly, but like I'm inside C right now. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I'm 25 In which George case, I might point. pivot out and start oh, yeah, pushing absolutely. into the midsection. Yeah, you're more than welcome to head that direction. Like, start heading for A. Yeah, there's nothing for you here after we take C. Unless you want to. Well, they might respawn, and that was kind of what I was hoping for. I could just shoot things at close range as they spawned, like, right there. Yeah. But, uh. Keep it up. Okay. Hey, hey well that's. Hey, I am going to hang a right. All right. Plane incoming. Ours or my? Ah. Oh, uh, if it's their plane, I will probably like shoot it down because hey, hey, one of the greatest anti-air cruisers in game. Post-war AA be like. And it's missing. I mean, it's just having it's just having any VTA. That, that's really what you need. Yeah. Uh, like the Russian 100s are pretty great as well. They're nice, yeah. It, it, oh. As far as how the area gunners care, they really don't. I'm, I'm meeting a top. That was also oh, Atlanta. Oh wow, it did, it did no damage. Yeah. Where's in Atlanta? Yeah. Right in front of you. Engaging the enemy! Yeah, that's, what, that's what's gonna happen. That, that's Bye. why I was... Do it. Do it. Right. Damn it. Yeah, Max is probably the best ship to keep here. Just like, in the back, just in case. Because then you can just shoot all the light fleet assets that spawn here. Yeah, because Kronstadt is a cruiser killer. Oh, 347. Yeah. Somebody attack him! 
Russia the P-47. Well, that limits its ordnance options. I mean, it's getting five five hundreds and five two fifties, which is plenty scary. True, but it's less options than the American ones have. The, the only less, only thing that's fewer is that you can't bring rockets. Now you're spotted. Which effectively doesn't matter. Like it gets better bombs, and that's yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna slap the carrier. Yeah, that works. Yeah, this P-47 should be pissed off. Doesn't look like they've been pushing F. Looks like they've just been killing our convoy spawn. All right, I did not. A I didn't actually get hit by bombs. Nice. Haha, <laughs> dive bombing moments. A little more effort, and victory will be ours. Take him down. Interesting. Uh, interesting flow plane. <sighs> interesting tactic, dive bombing like. Honestly, quite incredible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm targeting another plane or something? Yes, there is another plane coming across the island. It's gonna die as well. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Alright, I forgot. Float planes are so slow they don't fly into the actual. Oh, never mind, I got a crit. <laughs> Uh, I saw the HETF exploding perfectly. I just got a crit on that guy. Does it show up in the kill feed? It does, but he wasn't in it, so it doesn't matter. Threaten the air. The 50 cals have opened up. That's cute. Yeah. That Atlanta looks a bit simultaneously hot and moist. Douched. I'm some wondering how the HETF will plan for shit. Can you imagine if they gave Hood VT? I mean, okay, I'm good. glad that they haven't, because that would be so ahistorical. VT on the 40 mils. <laughs> oh no, on the... Well, on the, on the, I mean, the 40 the mils... <laughs> good Because they didn't make... They didn't make a VT for 40 mils until like, 1970-something. I don't think they ever made... Five? Oh, not for problems, all 70s. Yeah. I know, they just... They had the... They, 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 re they re-threaded the pump pumps, clearly. I was gonna say was that the pom poms did have self-destructing shells, though. Oh yeah, but that's time fuse, basically. Well, it's not even time fuse. It's just after a certain distance, it kills itself. Yeah. Fixed time fuse. <laughs> yeah. Fixed time. <laughs> Maximum range fuse. And that's not really for the sake of destroying something. Once it, we already have self-destroying in game. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything, though. Yeah, self-destroying shells are there for the purpose of ensuring that you don't accidentally hit a friendly. Yeah. Because that's a bad thing. Effectively, though, it, it just... Yeah, it doesn't really matter because the range at which it self-destroys... It does matter for air-to-air -air combat, but otherwise, yeah. Nice. I kind of hope the unrotated projectiles come in at some point, just for the lols. Hmm. Let's see if I can get a cheeky shot onto this Kronstadt. He is right here. Oh, he's actually a little closer than He's a little worryingly closer. Where hmm. is he? Uh... Destroy the no, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get a lock. Um... You can probably get a river. That, that's a Portland, I think. Oh, oh that's Portland. How many people are yeah, coming over here, it. and how many people are staying is the question right now. I don't know. Last time we were on here, we had a Kronstadt decide it was going to sail from uh, D to C. Like, twice. Last game, last game we were on here, my stress levels were too high. Yeah. Fished. I got 25 kills in his third love. I died 12 times. <laughs> That you single-handedly held the C point for like an hour. Yeah. No. Like it wasn't good for my cortisol levels. No. Well, the after effects well, good for your dopamine the levels. Oh yeah, it was great for dopamine levels because it just ha ha. You killed me, but another one. Are you a Hydra? 
Yes. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Portland. Mm. I see. Well, you can. If you have a plane, that'd actually help a lot in dealing with the Kron. Hmm. I have a P8, but like. That would be very helpful because it's. It's here. Oh, that's why I can't see it. The island's in the way. Because I can't see anything like. My viewpoint at the moment is I can't see anything east of Masalo Point. As in the G. Oh, nice. Yeah, never mind. Oh, yeah. top of <laughs> top of the team. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I only do more damage in the entire game, Mister Kronstadt. The oh, cruiser is a, a very back a island. Very helpful. I like. Oh, there's also a battleship. I'll shoot the battleship because he's actually quite close to me. Oopsie uh, daisy. Also, there's also a Kaiser somewhere. Yeah, I'm shooting that guy. We're not winning as hard as a. Yeah, that's the as, thing. As they as also successfully spotted that carrier, so that. Yeah, we are not winning as hard as we should be. Yeah. Because they're killing us pretty darn hard, and that hurts. Yeah. Yeah, we're like. Right side, we have a point advantage. The thing is, caps don't actually get you a win con. They just get you strategic advantage. They they do help with tick rate, but if you, they're killing you hard enough, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, however, just strategic advantage of like C point here is pretty huge. Yes, it's it's pretty big. Yeah. But the important thing is we're bringing the cavalry. Yeah. Hello. <sighs> I'll just see if I can like bomb a capital and then spawn Svetlov again. Cool. Fair enough, yeah. Svetlov is great. Da, 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 da. It's a solid cruiser. Uh, can you spot Kronstadt one more time? Yeah, no problem. Uh, da, da, da. Right there. There's like three ships sailing there. Which one of the three is it? It's the one with uh, two smokestacks and a very tall ridge. The one that looks kind of like oh, right. North, North Carolina. Uh, I don't know what a North Carolina looks like, to be honest. Kind of like an Iowa, but smaller. Three turrets. Yeah. Oh my god, George Shaw. When did you get here? I was literally ago. just sat here, listening. Uh... And for had like, the for like two, two minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, just seeing her going. I yes, I remember remote. why I don't join... ...your conversations while you're playing games. Boats. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go with you. I expected the person to join to be Noah or Juicy. Because <laughs> they would they would hop in around this time of day. Actually, later. Actually, now I think about it a bit later. When you say that, it's uh -huh. it is the right time it's for Noah to just randomly hop in and listen for five minutes. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, here it's since it's you know uh, ten over half twelve. It's not half twelve yet. It's, it's been like it's twenty to twenty minutes here. to. It's yeah. twenty to one here. What? You're only yeah. one hour ahead of me. Why are you two hours ahead? Oh, daylight savings. Daylight, daylight savings. <laughs> it's it's twenty three forty two here. Yes. What weird right. period of the year is it that Europe is two hours ahead? Hmm. What? Are you out of summertime already? No. no they just don't do some like uh, daylight saving time. I feel like your clock is wrong. What, oh. what time is it? 10:42 p.m. It's 11:42 p.m. Right. Can you see that thing, by the way? The one that's what? setting me on fire. What? What? That's what? 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 Oh, that's a Kronstadt setting me on fire. Okay. Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. shooting at the Kronstadt. Lovely. I have to uh, shoot the. I'll be shooting the Kaiser then. No, I've got to deal uh, with an Emden though, because it's a thing. I have uh, sight on Kronstadt. Lovely. It However, is. He, is, he has two cruisers around him, which make me scared. Fair. Well, if you're high enough, you should be fine. I am not high enough. Uh, one of them is a Kako, you don't have to worry about that. The other one is... Southampton. Um, at me. A Belfast, I think. Oh, that's a town of some sort. Yeah. Actually... Is it 
cat meowing? Can't see really. Yeah, I can't oh, see its forward it's... funnel position. There, uh, it's like a bit behind the bridge. It's behind the bridge, not in the bridge. Ah, uh, I don't, don't know. Actually, it's ah. Uh... There's not too much of a difference, to be honest, between the two. They've both got Bofors and twin four inch. The four inch is the part you have to worry about. The Bofors, you'll be probably fine. Right, I'm about to drop on Kronstadt. Lovely. Hey, where is the- oh, there is the Kaiser. Okay. Yeah, he's been fucking shooting me pretty hard. Well, he's broadside, it's... so... Yeah, but I've also had to deal with getting shot by Kronstadt yeah. and... Yeah. Bombardo Kronstadt might actually not be the best hit, but we'll see. It's a P8 bomb. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to yeah, be the best hit. Well, yeah, the, the thing is, I dropped it like on the nose from two clicks distance. It will probably drop. A, uh, it's like at a stern. Uh, my hey, aim is. Why Are is you following it? it? Or? Yeah. Alright. Nice. Go. Oh, and. Oh, and I got his ammo. <laughs> well, I mean, you basically just hit everything between his funnels there. Yeah, it knocked out, I think, one of his wing turret ammo. Mm. That was a little funny. Oh, I'm right, down to 65%, where, though. Uh, where should I spawn? I'm spawning at B. Those are torpedoes. Uh, probably better to go E or F. Mm. Yeah, because I'm, there's more I'm, action there. I meant E. Yeah, I'm just because yeah, like, if you're gonna spawn uh, on the that side, better spawn to C instead because it's right closer to their spawn. Damn the hey, torpedoes. That's more Haha, uh -huh, Muffins. Moff Momfit. Mosfit. So apparently they're attacking C again. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I think it also we, might be that guy who can't speak English very well. You're speaking okay. English and like, you're playing Warfare, what are you? There's an M then over there. You say that like there are people who just don't speak oh, any English. Oh, gosh, that's Oh uh, yeah, I'm there was a really old them. meme where uh, somebody was trying to type in chat, and then they get responded to by Russian. <laughs> it puts a sad face. Uh, the crash to spawn. Let's see. Oh good. Oh, all the way up there. Okay, that's worrying. That's no. That's better than having him as A and kill everything. I mean, cool. it's it's about the same level of bad, if not in some ways worse, because that's C cap. He's right there. And we can't really do anything about it at this point. Well, Mags could always turn around. Mags can take turn a look. around. We're too far gone to be useful. Fished, yeah. I mean. Oh. Yeah. Because we can also just lose the cap. Why? <laughs> yes, which wouldn't be particularly helpful. Oh, I guess. Okay, yeah. Mag. Slap crawl. Mag. <laughs> Mag do the funny. Channel your inner Yuzma. Say, say the line, Mags. Launch that needs a G correction. Yeah. <laughs> the vile high work. A G correction. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. If you, if you check worth under air, I have posted something of a similar, <laughs> of a similarly awful nature. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I've seen that one before, and God, yeah. <laughs> something's something's hurt on more than the mental level. Yeah, my brain—it's uh, slowly degenerating. Also, like someone with a shit set in squadron chance. Check the I haven't muted for other reasons. <laughs> It's not really the sh shit said, it's more like the screenshots posted in this case. Mm. Oh, no, I, I, I had muted for like a while. Uh, just screenshots of some absolute Which, retards in servers. I feel like I should not be in a position of any responsibility in this squadron when I basically don't have any particular <laughs> track record of doing anything whatsoever for it. I mean, like, honestly, like. I don't really feel like we need any kind of moderation in this server. Yeah, that's, that's fair, granted. Like, but at the same time, I'm like, why am I even... Why do I have a different color for my name? Like, <laughs> I, want a, I want a different color, too. So true, Luffy. Thank you. That's for a beans roll, like Shadow did. You have to go and fly to Seattle to do that, but... <laughs> I live on the other side of the world from Seattle. SMH skill issue. And I'm poor as shit. 
me uh, when I don't travel to the Museum of Flight in a fortnight. <laughs> fortnight? Sorry. For, fortnight? Epic Game Rot. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you stream Fortnite on Twitch as well? So true, let's see. I'm Brain Rot is actually occupying my oh. mind right now. Unironically. Uh, I'm just gonna HE spend this. New uh -huh. workout program. Every time you get killed in a bullshit way, do 10 push ups. Yeah. Arms Honestly, off. there was a while back, there was an actual right. War Thunder workout. Uh, it was back when we were still on War Thunder team speak and everything. And one guy I know uh, from BRS, he actually took that to heart and <laughs> became really small. <laughs> He's now a bodybuilder. Nice. It, it is. It was a pretty funny way to see that go. I would probably. Shorter. I would probably try bodybuilding if it wasn't that I like I'm planning on rowing six times a week. Yeah, I mean the difference is basically from it's between being fit and sculpting your body, which is it's it's yeah. definitely its own little you know it's it's definitely its own uh, what should we call yeah, it? Like I'm not gonna use the term field. It's a sport. Yeah, like Art. the thing is, like in, in the 80s, the bodybuilding was like yeah, really yeah. big. Oh yeah, and all that, and it's just taken decline again. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what the current sort of goals are with bodybuilding these days, as far as like, as far as the sport, how do they push the boundaries? And distancing themselves from the steroid abuse. Oh, probably, yeah. I really, really like, uh, there's a, I've followed oh, quite a lot of bodybuilding Hogan. things because, well, I've considered doing it for some time. Um, right. And yeah, like, but like without steroids and all that, which... Yeah, I mean, I these days I, I, I think that like, the general appeal is not necessarily to like, you just you look obscenely buff, but to make sure that your body looks well sculpted, right? That's the entire exactly. idea. Like, you still have classic physique, um, just normal Mr. Olympia, which is just muscle. Right. And it's honestly hideous, but, like... Uh, it's I think the classics it's, that you have to have, by, tra by tradition, I suppose. Yeah, like, it's... Wait, if I... Also, side note, it's a Japanese destroyer, so... We may have to worry about fish in the water. Yeah. Oh, we have a friend. He's just horse. packed out. Nice. He's oh, he's right in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. He he was there and then he tacked out. So oh, that nice if bike. anything is like a little red flag. The Japanese destroyer does a torpedo run and then nopes away. Um, is a red flag. Well, we don't. Yes. It's it's we don't know if he did perform a torpedo attack, but how would we know? Well, for one thing, he he suddenly pushed himself into smoke after charging us. Without firing his guns. It's almost like what is the exact tactic he would be using if he is torpedoing us. Yeah, I, want, I wonder what possibly he could have been doing. Alright, like, back, back to bodybuilding. Like, with Mi Mr. Olympia, like... Oh, <laughs> I was still talking about it, but look at I know, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I can't avoid, but that's the current Mr. Olympia, which is, like, the biggest thing. Uh, and he's just, like, muscle and without really, like... That's creepy. Yeah, like yeah. genuinely. I it's think the main thing is like you can. It's really well defined the individual muscles. I think that's part of because yeah. normally you have body fat that masks the detail there. Yeah, I think he's at like five six percent. Oh wow! Yeah, that's unhealthy. Just a yeah, it's definitely not healthy, but it, it will like definitely show all your individual muscles on the surface. And he's also probably oh, everything's up there. Will be dehydrated. Yeah, exactly. Like. Um, yeah, dehydrated, um, carb rush, all the things. Right. Um, but yeah, like, people don't find that sort of stuff interesting anymore. Okay, so that's basically the boomer sport at this point. Yeah, like, but uh, recently a new, like, I think 2016 or so, uh, they launched a new branch, Classic Physique, uh, yeah. which has been insanely popular. Well, relatively popular compared to the classic thing. Right. Like, People have been looking at it. Is the is the sport in general on decline, or is it a case of, like, they were on decline and they're coming back? It's, like, are they I trying to research? I'd, yeah, they're definitely trying to research, and have been, with, like, 
Nice. Like, people don't really see bodybuilding as a sport, I feel like. I mean, it's definitely a physical activity, to put yeah. it at the very least. Oh, are we gonna lose C? Well, there's nobody there. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. We have some coastal already, so we have a bit of time, but yeah. at the same time, it's sort of a case of we have to use that time now. I don't have a second hood available. No, not yet. I have, like, another set of available, I guess. Um, oh, do you have any torpedo boats with you? Mm -hmm. boats? I, I have an SKR. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, but like... <laughs> that's, well. that's confused disappointment. Yeah. Well, no, it's fine. It's just that, like, without the without the 206, for example, you're gonna... Mm. I don't have the Mag is repositioned yeah. to take on whatever is taking Charlie. Uh, as long as they ain't shooting the coastal already, we're in a good spot. Wait, also, like, yeah, getting a bearing um, indicator on? Like, with, also, with bodybuilding still, you have the Mr. Olympia Classic Physique, which currently is Chris Bumstead's. Chris like, Bumstead? Yeah. Yeah, he is Canadian. Great name. I'm like, so proud of it's us. it's really just the sculpted out, it's not too big. Like stereotypical Hollywood male body really. But then more. I'm surprised it's, at how I mean I guess it makes sense, but how fibrous muscle is. I say that like that's in any way a shock, but like, like yeah, no shit. His, his chest is fucking what It's still scary. Yeah, it's definitely like a... Yeah, the amount of oil applied on what man is, is nuts as well. I suspect that this is going to be very much a... Like, the the appreciation of bodybuilding is more on a technical level these days, I'd imagine. We have a 200-point lead. That's very narrow. That's worrying. We have less They are right killing now. the coastal artillery. <laughs> it's a life Okay, scene. we're going to lose some tickets, and we're going to be losing if that happens, so... Destroy the target. I'm taking Svetlov. The Charlie. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I, I should have taken torpedoes. Like one of those things you can really admire them for like the work that people put in to look like that, but at the same time, it's still really fucking yeah. scary to look yeah, like. Yeah, it's definitely a case like, of like... You look at his like calf muscles, you can see all the fucking tendons in his legs, like... Like, yeah. That's a little scary, yeah, that's the... As, well, as I an for artist, the guy. I, I, I can appreciate it, but at the same time, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am. I am definitely worried for the health of some of these people. Yeah. I know athletes will often strain their bodies, but like, yeah, nice yeah. kill, Max. Very nice I have kill. No idea yeah. what happened. Well, you, you made him funny. go away. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I switched. That, I like the Holy look of the there. shit! I'm gonna respawn Svetlov with torpedoes. So true, Yeah, there. No, like fun. there's uh, a Kaiser of Helena. Eugen. Oh, yeah. that explains where all the resistance went. Yeah, I was saying, like, you're really funny, they all spawned there if we stay <laughs> in. <laughs> I think that'd be a little funny. But just yeah, like, they're, they're all at sea. That, that is, okay, so that's the kind of team we're fighting. I like that, I'm, I'm okay uh, with that. Uh, uh, oh. uh, Hello, Douglas. Yes, I see Douglas. Uh, no, there's a Kronstadt behind us. Oh, I understand that. I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, yeah, you deal with you deal with the 200-ton patrol boat, and I'll deal with the battle cruiser. Even <laughs> trade, baby. Let's go. Once my guns decide that they want to face the right direction, thank you, please. When I get oh, my stupid ammo, ow. It cool. Uh, okay, I, yeah, I can. It'll take me a million years, but my guns will be brought to bear. Brought to elk antelope. How the fuck? I have a one meter death stroke, and these torpedoes just went through. The fucking... Did it armoring distance for a chance? Uh, Attacking. I don't know, man. Like how close are you to the guy? Uh, very. That. Yeah. Yeah. If you're scraping him, you're not gonna have enough time for your torps to actually realize that they're supposed to hit something. Because generally speaking, most people liked it when the torpedo didn't explode out the tube. Yeah. Tends to be bad for the tube. Yeah, see, the guy sees this. And just for a little bit, maybe the operators. Yeah, and maybe the ship they're sitting on. 
Not like a like an OSHA or women's violation, maybe. Yeah, no, it's possibly. You may want to put a guardrail there too. Yeah, C is lost. C is lost? No, you guys have still another ship there. Yeah, fine. No, but like the amount of shit that's inside C right now is well, it's just C is lost. Right. Well, I don't think C is lost. As long as you guys keep the pressure up. It's very hard to kill a cap. That's my point. Like, you just need to keep spawning there and keep the pressure up. And my turrets rotate, please. Can they? No, I've managed to fire it. Sorry, that was... Will like they? I yeah. managed to fire I'm... three or four salvos in the period of time it's taken my rear turrets to go 180 degrees. I'm like out of spawns as well. Oh good. Oh That's fuck. Good. Oh and... Oh, they didn't spot it. Cool. Uh, we still have to kill the carrier, by the way. We still have yet to yes. do that. Yeah, like, I'm out of spawns. Yeah, Yeah. no, just use this respawn if you, if you can afford it. The main thing is just that we need to, like, quote-unquote, keep our foot in the door. Because it's really hard to take a cap when there's something sitting in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, the DD spawn is within. Yes. I'm eight clicks away from the carrier. But it's, it's it's just a destroyed uh, mission right now, so all you need to do is shoot it. That would be oh, very it's useful. Because we are uh, presently I'm losing. I'm, a, oh, I'm good. gonna torpedo it. Nice. Slap nice. Kronk. Nice, well done. Nice. As long as we keep slapping um, him until he runs out of spawn points, then no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that dude is about to run out of Kronks. Nice. Hold in. One can dream. Uh, is speed of a carrier constant? Uh, it, it turns, constant, yeah. but it turns. Yeah. So. Constant speed, not constant velocity. Yeah, the scaler is constant. Second the vector is not. In you said I just, right I now. just like dump torps on it. That's mm. Nice. I have to say, I like vectors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vectors are fun. I'm you not do. a fan of vectors. It depends on like the context, like purely using them in mathematics is nice, but like as long as like when you start using vectors for actual physics. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, I've just taken a salvo from something. Probably the Kronstadt respawning in A or something. Yeah, in yeah, fact, yeah. speak of the devil. Engaging the enemy. I had to slow my charge the entire way around the other side. I think he did that deliberately. Aha, they shot me from that side. I'll spawn on this side. Yeah, okay, turning around. He's trying to farm. It looks like he needs spawn points. I've got that wonderful visual glitch where my funnel's on fire, despite me not being on fire. Well, yeah, we, re we definitely don't want to lose C, so being them up at C is probably a good plan. Well, if I drop yeah, dead anytime not soon. They're not really spawning here anymore. There's, there are a few guys here, but they're just. Like this guy's yeah, there. Just yeah, this guy's is a big issue. Mm. Uh, then there's a Svetlov there and a Agano, I think. And this guy in a Leipzig is wonderful. Well done, man. I'm sure you're feeling happy about yourself right now, aren't you? What did he do? Rammed him. It's fucking rammed me. Yeah. What so, guy. like, how long until you guys think you can cap A or something? I don't think we're capping A. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah. At least not until this Kronstadt decides it's done. Yeah. Even then, there's going to be a lot of heavy resistance because they're going to just keep pushing. Come on, forward battery, turn. Got the front guns over. Yeah, I've got A turret fired, B turret is still traversing. B turret is traversed, firing. He's burning. Uh, I'm going to try to get his ammunition hold. I hit him in the superstructure. Nice. Uh oh, that's the chrome stat shells. Oh, no. You do look a bit warm. Oh look, we're on fire it's... in the same place. <laughs> hey. Winsies. <laughs> Brothers in arms. Brothers in arson. <laughs> Brothers in arson. I think I was burned by... Oh yeah, I was burned by chrome stat. But that did not- excuse me? Okay, that's a Pensacola. <laughs> it's not an Arizona. That did not penetrate, apparently. 
Right, so I'm gonna just rush to carry art to see if I can tour pits. Erky dirk. My current priority is just take out carrier. Does the crunch tag oh, look no. a little moist? Oh, I was undershooting significantly there, apparently. My issue is I either undershoot or I hit it in the bridge. I'm aiming like specifically and deliberately for the turrets and ideally for the uh, ammo holes, which are just behind those turrets. Please tell me that Atlantis is going to delete that Douglas. Oh, he's crash diving. Tasty. <laughs> the cross side was knocked out by a Sharn. Yeah, that sounds good. Guys, clearly Sharn is OP. So please nerf. I mean, no comment. I mean, I mean, yesterday I was detonated by an Igenesis, so... <laughs> so yeah. true, OP. So true. <laughs> oh, he's, he's out. He's out. Look at him. He's out. Oops. Is he out of spawns or out of yes, match? Yes, he's in a destroyer. Nice. Reading we sit here in... <laughs> This is 15 inch guns. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, There's a very real chance that he won't be able to get in corn again. 60 nice. kilos of TNT per shell. Unfortunately, I overpenetrated. Doesn't <laughs> matter, just put enough big holes in him and he'll go away. Yeah. Like that, I just exploded his bridge. Also, I'm pretty yeah. sure I got the carrier. Oh, yeah. this is the uh, tender of the bar. Who was this guy again? That was the Kaiser. Oh, There's a Helgoland? No, uh, the guys there is oh, just there. No, that looks. Are those triples? Is that Russian? That's a oh. German battleship I'm looking at. Oh, those are twins. My brain is. I saw yeah, like a section of the bridge and thought, is that another gun? You just no. you just T17 him and it said Helgoland. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very blind. <laughs> nice one, optical. No, no, it says it says battleship on my screen. I didn't get an ID. For it said it. Helgoland when you said it to me. Yeah, know, different people will get because radio range is its own skill here, uh, and spotting is a different skill. So, which is wait, very I paradoxical. I ID the thing, but your radio range is high enough that you can see that I ID'd something I don't even know what it is. Yeah, the thing is, is that like, I can't say it. They don't know what it is, but you can tell us. Say it, it's a Kaiser. Yes. Well, that doesn't make sense. But I, I don't get to see what I said. That's the even funnier part. Yeah, and I did. But I wasn't close enough to see that it was a Helgoland other than no, your spawning yeah, yeah, message. because it's, it's your radio skill that would tell that. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's it's a, not, none of us have spotted the thing, but none of us know what it is. <laughs> it's it an it's a, What? So, it says that it's a Helgoland, but it's not a Helgoland. It was no, a Helgoland. No, it is a Helgoland, well, but I didn't, I didn't see it as such. Like, well, I couldn't, no, my crew couldn't ID it. Rodi is Helgoland. It was a Helgoland, but, now it's a Doggerland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a scapa land. Oh no, it's a dogger land. I could totally just get up and slap you upside the head for your dumb joke. Please, but geography do. puns. No. It would be very appreciated if you do that. I don't I think they get anything from it other than the satisfaction of slapping my brother. Oh, Lord Joram. That's all you need. Uh oh, yeah, they are. Take him down. He's back in a crumb set. Oh good. Ah, Where? South? South? Yeah. Great. How many crunch stats does this man have? Enough, well, apparently. Substantially more than ever existed. <laughs> but one crunch stat. Not uh, difficult. No, because it only requires the one. Two. Yeah. Well, no, not even the one. It was it was 12% of one. <laughs> yes, but him spawning one is more than there being a... Uh, I can almost get a Chipayo. See, look at that, you're holding That's C. Yeah, I don't know, dude, we're holding C with a s s Like I said, it's better, it's much easier to defend as long as you have like one capital. You're, you're in good hands. Yeah, and that capital's mag. Yeah, who is yeah, quite so like, competent. My range is... Oh, they destroyed my rangefinder, I think. And, oh. and fixing them doesn't necessarily fix it. Uh well, that means I have to repair against an HE spammer, that's gonna be really rough. Thank goodness what? his range is so uh, he he is doing very terribly uh, actually shooting me. What's a nice thing to listen to? Oh we got the pirates coming now and see. Uh Johnny Horton. R or the enemy? R. Okay, that's good. Oh thank god. We have a friendly Yes. We have a friendly PK in in C? Yeah, yeah it's in C. Oh, Unironically, this is the time you went to Arizona. No. 
Well, yeah. these days, no longer. You never no want an Arizona. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, Arizona is actually a good block. Rock. Yeah. She's a brick. Ah. Uh, a brick she that doesn't. takes a hit quite well. Oh. Which is why I actually like playing her in random battles, because a bunch of Helena boss come around and I just sit in the back and yeet. Oh, there she goes. Into the next dimension. What crash that? I, I love using that term because it's uh you guys know what Bashnyabit is? Bashnyabit. It's a nickname that Russians have used to describe their tanks. And it oh. basically means like I forget what it means, but it basically is referring to when the T seventy two gets shot and the ammunition detonates and it lollipops. Okay. Like the turret uh, lobbying. Oh, so, so they call it Bashnyabit. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say powder, that. like powder keg or something. Oh I'm being shit I'm being shit on by things again. And then there was a picture, a diagram showcasing that, and they had a diagram with the guy uh, in the gunner seat, sort of elevating out with radiation from beneath, and Vish basically commented, into the next dimension he goes. Uh, amazing. Just phasing oh. through reality. Which is uh, not entirely wrong, you probably one, one hell of a way to get isekai you know? Mm. <laughs> Well, there's nobody oh, else oh, here at the A point with me, and I'm not really nimble enough to turn into it. Oh, I can push in. I'm. Oh, my guns are currently facing the opposite direction, but where are they? Oh, nice. Yeah, at sea. They're at sea. Yeah, oh, like lovely. Uh, many of them. Like, Never a dull moment. Not all, but yeah, uh, quite a few. Three, four, five guys. You think we can shoot the coastal already in A? Gonna be I'm, a bit of I'm a... shooting at it. Oh, BK uh, J out or some shit? No, it's possible. No, you died to a Kaiser. Build it. Oh, which is embarrassing, oh. but not impossible. Ow. Oh. Okay. I spawned again. <laughs> Do you know where Nevermore is by chance? I got a news notification. What's happening right now? Uh... Why am I listening to Pitbull? Yeah. Why are you listening? So true. Life's from when life was still not a shithole. Yeah, Mr. Worldwide. It all happened with the gorilla. Oh, the one of 20, was it 2016? Way back Yeah. Then? Oh, I was yeah. gonna say, it wasn't Harambe like 2011. I was gonna no, say, it's 2012. No. Oh, it's 2012, wow, that is Wait. old. Harambe was 2012. Harambe was like really. Okay, I'm gonna Google it since I'm like apparently. <laughs> I think it was 16. It would be 2012. No, it's 2016, May uh, 28th, 2016. Okay. My perception of time is really bad. I didn't know it was Friday today, but you know. It's Friday. Fair. It doesn't feel like a Friday, in all okay. fairness. Uh, I like it. The, the weather is lovely outside here. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and, I'm probably, and I am suffering from food poisoning again. Yeah. You need oh, to my. stop doing that. No, I just don't know why. What are you I eating? <laughs> I don't know. I like. <laughs> I Apparently, nothing good. Like, he's from Netherlands. Can sell yeah. food, food poisoning. <laughs> like, all right, maybe because like half of my diet is dairy. Huh. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean you. Are you lactose food. intolerant or? No. Oh. That's to be a lactose intolerant Dutchman. That would be hell. Yeah. Like, are they particularly known for dairy products or yeah. like yes. something? Cheese. No. Yeah. Lots of cheese. 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 Ah. Yeah, that is quite unfortunate. Well, one thing I found like hilarious is the second, the world's second largest exporter of food is the Netherlands. A food total the or has to kill the farmers? Uh, uh yeah, of uh, exports. Like, are you guys wholesaling it or something? I don't know. Like, they've been doing I don't know. Centuries. Centuries. You're, you're All right. definitely not the key producer if that's the case. No, like. We export 90 billion. Right, food so products. the question is, how, in what, like, how is that manifest? Is that... Dairy. 
was gonna say yeah. it could juice. also be net. It's, ju it's juice. Yeah, it's where, where does all the it's it's come juice. from? Right. So it's the question juice. I have is then like, it, it, it's you juice. don't have a landmass that would be necessarily conducive to that level of production. So I'm curious in what it, form that manifests because raw export may it, it is sort of a deceptive term in a way because you can't really identify necessarily what that is sourced from, right? Like. There's Singapore a is a massive food exporter. It's a wholesaler, you know? We have a wyvern trying to gun run the coastal RC. Adorable. I don't I think it's wholesale. Wait, what's wholesale actually like? I'm not sure. Wholesale is Buy it from a producer and then sell it to the markets. Yeah, you, you basically have warehouses that can facilitate transit of product. Like, Costco is a wholesaler. Honestly, we do kind of bits of that with, like, Rotterdam, I guess. I was kind of saying that like the Dutch have been doing wholesale for Europe for centuries. Uh, uh, Spices, like the, silk. We're, we're the inventors of it. Seemingly. The Japanese. <laughs> oh yeah. We Dutch studies. Oh yeah, Japan. Uh, Japan was uh, uh, the main vector for their understanding of Europe during Sakoku was the Dutch. Yeah. And they had an entire thing called Dutch studies, which was basically just studies about Europe. And it involved things like learning about electricity. So before, like they, they did actually have technically electricity before the uh, yes, Americans came, came along. But it was mostly just like learning about dry cell batteries and stuff. Yeah, she can come in. You can leave the door open now. It's hot in here. Yes, the cat walks in and immediately attacks my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, priorities, yeah, absolutely, yeah. priorities. Fierce little thing. Gremlin. Mischie mischievous little creature up to no good. Rex on all <laughs> counts. Oh, Dad's gone to bed. So, how far oh, out do torpedo nets go and capture points? The it edge depends. of the point. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just the borders of the point. So if you're in the point, you're in the torpedo net. It would be great saying. to have these points visible, otherwise I could have torpedoed this fat love. Yeah. 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 But basically, as long as you're in the cap, you you, you are... A threat. Well, you, you're gonna be in the top net. Yeah. But this it wouldn't be really nice if the guy was just... just hey. the <laughs> that looks better. Like, spawning. Uh, this is hilarious. We, we got it. <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, you guys got the airport. Nice. Well done. Going to run out of ammo soon. This, Arguably this, the less valuable of the two. C is the was the one that was the Yeah. E. But the fact that we've taken the A point may cause them to reconsider their own assaults on the C point. Either they're gonna double down on it or they're gonna spawn a D as a defensive measure which will release some pressure off a of C. D's no sorry. Just, sorry, there was just a tail <laughs> just sticking out of the door. A my tail. brain, like oh, immediately I hear two point. My feet. Migratory. Yep. Contact. Oh, those are bots. Oh well. Wait, that's not a bot. That's a. That is a bot. Sorry, it's just it's sinking. From a distance, what it looks is like he thinking about? <laughs> uh, his starboard side. Amazing. I yeah, know Douglas is in RBEC. <laughs> not in their right mind. Oh, the guy actually bought. Well, it's thing. you can actually bring it and just be a menace in a cap point and just if people push into you, you just shit on them mm. because you get the reload from the cap. And that's actually surprisingly fast. Can you not? What the is she thought? doing? Whacking, uh, eating my carpet. <laughs> Booped her in the news. Tasty, Cat tasty moment. carpet. Mm, I love myself some carpet. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame. I love that polyester and wool, depending. So, so you see, the hair is mostly made out of protein. Cat's just getting us some, some gains. I, I, don't, to know about I don't know if munching. it is protein is a qualification for edibility. Like, prions are made of protein. <laughs> Gains. I, I would not recommend consuming prions. Grains are bad. Gains, not grains. Neurodegenerative proteins, let's go. No. <laughs> let's fucking go! Well, sheep brains are delicacy in a lot of places. Oh yeah, brain is generally uh, oh, considered is quite tasty. Brain. But yeah. There's apparently quite a few Indian dishes that use brains. And French. Um, no, Hun, Hun's talked about, like, her, her coming home 
and she's like, mm, that smells good. Opens the pot, and it's brain. just a fucking brain. <laughs> and, it's got a lot of fat to it, and it's not all fat the same, right? So some fat, like, brain fat's probably actually quite nice for cooking with. Yeah, but I just would not eat a brain. There's yeah, there's definitely to get me to eat it. A I would try concern. probably every other type of awful. I will not eat a brain. Awful. Not awful. Yeah. Josh. I didn't hear a difference there. That being awful, said, though, awful. Generally speaking, like the one piece of awful, I, or I don't know if I would even qualify this as awful. But it's um, gizzard. Gizzard's amazing because it's a very hardworking muscle, and it takes a, it's a pain in the ass to clean because it's usually filled with rocks. Yeah. Um, but if you clean it out, it's this lovely and highly flavorful piece of meat. Check out. I'm not. I'm in pain. Yeah. Like I was just a half a second away from closing flood holes. Thank you. And then I got to zero percent flooding. Works about. Um, works yeah. about like that. <laughs> like, the sank also, right when I closed the holes. Yay! The Dutch should know something about keeping water out of holes. Okay, somebody's asking for Bismarck. Amazing. Well, the annoying thing is, is that I'm not doing anything different and it looks fine in every other character, except the character that I'm drawing. Because the character is like a piece of paper, so it looks very, uh, I'm being dead oh. on her. I don't really know how to fix it. Hmm. Moth is just trying to smash itself to death, and now the cat has acknowledged the, not the moth's existence and she's going to be an utter nuisance. Dual the face first plane. Amazing. Okay, I need to hang a right a bit to unmask my rear battery. Because going four guns against six is a little unfair here. That PK keeps dying to a Kaiser. Either that's the best Kaiser player in the world, or that PK really needs some help. <laughs> Both? I mean, Maybe. He's playing Russia, he needs some help. Yeah. No offense, Matt. I say having completed the entire Russian tree. I say, gr well, I don't. No, I didn't actually say anything. <laughs> you did now. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, you have I me. Think it's all over. Here. It is now. Then you have me here playing Russian ships as well. I'm sure you work on I hear a sort of past, I don't it's like it. It's an F2G. I don't yes, like he's going it. right for you, yeah. I don't like or this. I don't like this. What did he? In the end, what? Did he, he died? Didn't, he didn't drop. He kind of I think he lost his control surfaces from that Baltimore. He, he oh. flew through my superstructure and then burned to death. There's a mosquito Quality. up. Quality. It's already about a mossy. Yeah, mosquito. Mosquito. I don't want to go back into a cruiser. I kind of don't want them to add the the bomber variant because yes. that one is funny. I want highball. Let's go. Hello, Carl Zeltzer. The tall boy bombs when Alka Seltzer. Yeah. Like. Hard Seltzer. What? I'm definitely gonna start bubbling <laughs> and fizzing. I wonder what the outcome of this match is going to be. <laughs> Truly a mystery. It can, it can, it's really anyone's game at this point. To be fair, we have a lead of 1,500 points. At this margin, that's actually going to... Damn you. Oh, I, I didn't even get to fire a second salvo. I think he just died of his wounds. I fired a second salvo, but he exploded in the middle of it. Oh. Oof. Yeah, that was... I think the fire just spread to his hand or, uh, or he bailed. One of the two. Either is likely, to be honest. I should restore yeah. my AA guns to functionality, given the fact that I'm missing half of them and they're sending planes out now. Yeah. <sighs> I love 
love the fact that you've tried to convince me to play this and just listening to you guys play Don't. it. So <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, why are you like, recommending this game? <laughs> I'm not. D it's, don't play oh this. Oh my god, wait, I remember one time Joshua was like, I need to go do something, Mac, but I'm in the middle of the match. Can you fly for me? That wasn't. I didn't that... play. I literally managed to not get hit. <laughs> I was just supposed to stay in like a little bubble, trying not to move because, oh my god, does A planes make me feel so motion sick? And B, I was sat there thinking, I don't know how the game works. <laughs> just trying to keep the plane. A from not crashing into the ground and B from not being shot. And I just basically went, you'll never ever get me to play this ever because of that. Yeah, There's definitely more than just planes, although planes no, are fairly central. There's definitely more than just planes, he says, as we're as ships Main are ships. planes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th th that caveat though is only something you'd understand if you looked at the code, though. Yeah, don't try and find it. Oh, that's something that's dying. As in, like most players still don't understand that. TLDR ships are planes with special conditions attached. Yeah, they have flight models more precisely. The because tanks don't, and the, that distinction is important just because of the way that tanks aren't uh, planes, but ships are. Yeah. Effective, although the targeting conditions are tanks and ships are the same target. It's it's convoluted, very spaghetti. It's a mess. Just a little bit. Mascarpone. I could go He's for dumping some. He's dumping torps. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of torps right there. That's Primarily, scary. I could go for some cannoli. I'm gonna try to get cannoli. their carrier again. I'd love to be like... able to try cannoli, but I can't eat it. What's that? She's it's like a nice color. deep fried. It's, or cylinder? it's like, yeah, it's like a pastry that's been fried and it's in a cylinder and it's filled with like either like cream cheese sort of like stuff or cream. Ricotta and mascarpone, yeah. uh, with sugar, it's great. Yeah, you, you used to do a nice knockoff version of it that was literally just a slice of bread oh, and cream cheese. <laughs> <Maybe> sugar. <laughs> Cream cheese and sugar is such an overpowered combo, as far as like, it's like icing go. It's like, top, top icing next to buttercream. Oh yeah, it's great. Cream cheese is better than buttercream. Mmm, it depends. Like, I could totally eat an entire tub of Betty Crocker's buttercream icing to myself. It depends on the quality, that's the big thing. Buttercream is, if you make it right, it's great. If you don't, then it can it's horrible. Be. But yeah, it's a case of quality there. This conversation is just funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> you, have you never had cream cheese ice cream icing? Like, no, you just, I haven't. It's very simple. You have cream cheese, right, in your country. And you put ice. I don't even know what cream cheese is. Philadelphia. It's very, oh, cheese. there you go. Actually, that's been, you yeah, use that's that and you mix it with icing sugar and it makes a frosting. Great. So it's basically sweet cream cheese. <laughs> yes, which is honestly like fantastic, like cheesecake. Is kind of just an analog to this in a lot of ways. Ice is your cream cheese cheesecake with cream cheese and sugar. In fact, there are some for, uh, some recipes for cre uh, cheesecake which are based just using ice, uh, cheesecake uh, cream cheese icing, essentially. Mm. Can't speak well, today. Also, going like on war from the topic, uh, what's the army distance of torpedoes? Fifty uh, meters. Actually, Fifty meters. Yeah. All right. Because I'm currently rushing the carrier down. <laughs> Hello, Brooklyn. There goes turrets number one and two on Brooklyn. I'm presently having issues killing a, a hipper. I'm turning Brooklyn into uh, Bro Brooklyn. New Jersey. Brooklyn. Yeah. I was gonna say I was, I was trying to think of like what's a worse worse uh, suburb in New York than Brooklyn? Brazil. That's not in New York. <laughs> Isn't Harlem one of those sort of bad areas now? I don't know. Because every area of New York City is a bad area. Well, the, that's more about living standards. It's expensive as fuck. Well, that and, you know... The crime rate is surprisingly... Well, it's not great, but for a US city, it's not as bad as you might think. No, but the uh, repercussions for someone stabbing you are basically... They get to keep whatever they nicked off you and you're, and you're screwed. Yeah. That's but as far as the crime rate goes, it's not actually outstandingly bad. As in, like, there is Detroit. <laughs> there is... there is Trenton. It's Jersey. Uh. Yeah, Trenton's you, New Jersey. 
That's you can do worse, basically. <laughs> just like hearing about rent prices in New York is just. Oh yeah, if you don't make at least 75k a year, you're you're not able to live in that city. That's um, a well, pretty substantial cut off point. Well, then you're making at least 75k a year well, passive income. Bit. Yeah, but again, passive income a year. Yeah. Unless you're not renting yeah. and then you're paying the property tax and nothing is being gained, then you're gonna probably not be able to there, sustain there that. There are very many reasons why people tell you not to go to Or live in New York. Like we're, we're going to, to, we're going to our home living in New York. The thing about is, that is that New York actually has like a really good art university in it. Oh, oh yeah. Like it's supposed to be like one of the better ones that you can go to in the country, and it's just That's like. Sorry, I did try to shut, take her out, shut the door, and you told me to leave I don't have it. an issue with her being in here. I have an issue with her trying to chase after insects. She's a cat. She's going to do that. Yes, but the issue is there aren't any. Well, I talked to Carrier Carrier what I see. Nice. Yeah, it's usually around this time of day though that she's like, mm, yes, the insects are out. Let's have fun. The insects are made of insect. Yeah, so now she's sitting on my hand. The insects are made of protein. Yes, they are. In fact, they're actually a surprisingly good piece of nutrition and they're not that bad. Now she's licking yeah. my hand. Yeah, I'm aware of. Like, I'm kind of surprised that we stopped it. eating them in most of the, uh, like, most of Europe and North America. They, we used to have a lot more bugs in our diet. Non-scientific use of bugs. I don't think that I could ever eat a bug. And it I has don't. to... No, it's it's one of those texture things that the I oh, like, the yeah. combination of it is immediately makes me want to gag. That's like, why I'm the type of person who can't eat jello. Yeah, there's ways of actually masking that though. Um, there's a seasoning in the Philippines which is actually crushed up. Uh, I think it's mealworm. They have that. Yeah, they that's mix not that. Well. And it looks like yeah. a spice, basically. So you eat it with tequila. Oh, is it Mexico? Yeah. One thing that I that ah. I really want to try is just like it gets pretty much jars filled with liquor and just try infusing fruit into it. I want to make oh, chalk. Yeah. Which is a Korean sort of syrup. You basically put like fruit or whatever in the sugar, and you just let it ferment. Oh yeah, that, that sounds pretty great. Uh, and you can make you can make alcohol out of it, but you can also just use it as like a flavoring. Oh, I got a kill assist on the hipper. But proper nice. chong takes like a hundred days to make. <laughs> oh yeah, when you so flavors are better once you like wait a little longer, I imagine. The what should I call it? One thing I can guarantee you is a traditional Slavic um, way to make a drink is you take spiritus and you just throw whatever fruit you want, normally cherries. Uh, I, I, I can say with confidence because my babsha made me that when I turned 18. <laughs> it usually dilute 20%, but you can you can just, well, you take that liqueur and that's spiritus, so 96 plus percent ethanol, and you dilute it into water at your leisure, essentially. Mine would be like ninety percent water. Oh yeah. Generally speaking, though, you get this really nice cherry flavor because it's been extracted by the ethanol, and oh. the longer you wait, the better it is. Cherry. Oh, I heard oh, cheddar. I, I've seen a lot about just that. I, I should just use the French, the Polish term Vishnia. Cheese flavored vodka. That sounds oh, sure really nasty. Yeah, that sounds horrid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Enough, wait. Um, um, American sort of like sweet shops have finally started selling weird American flavored sodas, which means it's like bacon flavored soda. Alright, that sounds horrid. <laughs> it is. It's just so funny to me that A, I wouldn't ever buy it over here even as a joke. Because, it's because they're like funny. three quid for like a beer bottle of soda. Engaging the enemy! Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit of money. Yeah, considering that for that money you can actually just get a beer bottle. More than one. I can't drink. Yeah. Well, I can get like a bottle of beer for 60 cents here. That doesn't surprise me. Beer here is really expensive. Oh, beer here in this is country is ridiculously is really expensive. expensive. You buy a oh, bottle of whiskey for 20 quid, right? At least 11 of that is tax. Hmm, price. 
Yeah, like, um, here I can buy, I think it was like in, for a party, a friend of mine bought a leader and I have pulled a Fosca. Um, for, I think it was 80 euros. Sure. 80 or 18? 18. Ah. To be fair, it was made of. That explains why everybody just goes to Europe, buys their booze, and then comes back on holiday. Same with cigarettes. Mm, but that's uh, cigarettes are like... Christ. <laughs> it's like, I think, I think I remember, we had a trip to Belgium. Um, and it was like a cadet trip, so we was... The number of underage smokers is smoking. ridiculous. It's because smoking age in Belgium is 15. Oh, I meant amongst our lot. Yeah. I was the... I wasn't the youngest, there was only one person younger than me, and I was 15 at the time. So, technically nobody was underage dr smoking there. Well, there was but, some violation of every rule that we have. Yeah, I know. But it was just like... It's ridiculous. You you go over and... A, kids are allowed to like basically just drink, and you're like, hmm. Yeah, like, here are the ages 18, but, like, it's, um, I was supposed to go on a trip to Poland with school. Um, yeah, but that got cancelled because COVID, hey, hey, hey. And, like, it's, like, this is school time, you're not supposed to drink, but... That would not stop anyone. Yeah, like, everyone got, ev like, the year before that, everyone got drunk as shit in vodka. Yeah, we it's have a good vodka it's, there. It's Poland. What are you gonna do? No, not no, no. not not get drunk on vodka. My yes. memory of Poland, as far as foodstuffs go, the main highlight is kebab, because this you don't get that shit in Canada, and it's honestly one of Europe's greatest gifts to the world. Kebab. Don't know why it's more interna why it isn't more international. It is amazing. Just like the Turkish food, right? Yes, and we don't have many Turks here, which is an actual tragedy. Because kebab, please. Why is Oigo so, so much squishier than Hipper? <laughs> it, it isn't. I have an answer for you, Josh. Yes, the answer is tits. Okay. Um, I fired. Was oh, that an AL reference or yes. a KC yes. reference? Okay. I was like, wait a second. That took a second. Hipper is flat. Were these foods or? <laughs> I like. Um, it's very nice that you just have pretty much. I think. I live in a city of, well, I'm going to live in a city of 38,000, I think. And there's like six kebab shops. Yeah, I, I, I miss those. I literally, my first year of uni, I lived down the road from the kebab shop. Oh yeah, I'm being that annoyed. sounds really nice. I can't like, it, but yeah. It's very nice. Um, like, I recently moved and I'm moving again. Um, so like, between the routes of my students association and my house was a very nice kebab shop that was open until 2 a.m. I frequented Knowing that a lot. Knowing your demographic, yeah, it's like, uh, students. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, students. I absolutely, yeah. I had access to that as a commodity, I would be one on, and 100% uh, on top of that. Are you like, talking like a very what, traditional honor, Turkish kebab or donna? I don't know what the difference would be, in fact. I've only had them in... Well, like, and, and all I go that. to, like, a Turkish man say, Hey, give me Kapsalon. And he gives me Kapsalon, which is great. It's, like, unhealthy as candy. It's fries with, like, cheese, kebab, more cheese, and vegetables. The F2G keeps coming back trying it's, to kill me. If you're ever in the Netherlands, yes. get, get one. If I can eat it, sure. Yeah. You prop. What are you I'm spending a like lot of SL uh, just scouting for things. But I probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm you probably should. Tolerant. Oh uh, yeah, it's got fries, so. Yeah, it it it's one of those hard ones because people put flour on everything. Right. It's a great emulsifier. Uh, it's yeah. a great. It's a very convenient technology and a food technology. I. Okay, let's let's take it this way. Traditional Japanese curry is made by making a roux. Yeah. So it's all flour. Yeah. You can take the, so, take the spice mix and you can... Yeah, it's basically, if I want to make it, I have to make it myself. Right, and it's also an absolute pain. Yeah, yeah. which is quite unfortunate. Cause because it's... of the gluten-free flour mess. 
Probably one of my favorite fruits. Power doesn't emulsify properly. When you oh, oh, yeah. try to make a roux with it, it doesn't work. I'm very thankful that I'm never that I'm not allergic to things. I had growing up, I had some allergies, but these days, it's I don't think I have any anymore. Uh, I used to have pretty bad hay fever. These days, it, it wasn't as bad as my cousins, but now it's fine. I don't think uh, I actually. Thank you for actually it. saying the word hay fever. I've woken up and I haven't taken my tablets yet. Oh, uh, I'm actually like the thing with my hay fever. It's getting worse and worse every year. Oh dear. Yeah, I went the other direction. I, I, I had to take Claritin every... or antihistamines of some capacity, so we went off brand more than once. Uh, yeah, I, I don't take anything for it, and I really should. Yeah, that's... if you're if you're suffering, I recommend antihistamines, because it can I impede I take antihistamines daily, so I can have functioning hands. This is yeah, so that... Benefexidine. Bexafenidine, even. Oh. Like I had, to, had an evening on like um, I don't know the English term for it. Fuck. That's Dutch, so it'd be probably close enough. It's yeah. only silly English. Say it in Dutch, and we'll <laughs> try and figure it out. Nope, nope. I'm just go googling it. Did you say it? I'm not sure. No, he just said nope. he's gonna Google it. Uh. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Just what is right, it? Basically, uh, basically just main building of students, society, association thing. So the student union? union? No, not union, it's like outside of university. Student association? Yeah, some, some yeah, like, incorporated student association of some capacity. Yeah, like, alright, yeah, pretty much building of my student association, we were there. Uh, well it's a rowing club as well, so we have like a big lawn. Bunch of hills and all the shits. Nice. Um, and the grass was just cut, and we're like in the pub there because we have one. Sorry, the guy um, complaining about lack of Bismarck. We've captured most of the strategic zone. Yeah, uh, German yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, like, and the grass was just cut. I'm allergic to grass pollen. Oof. Grass this was pollen. like in April, May. Hey, we got the results screen. Amazing. Hey. I didn't actually get the results screen. How little RP? I got 30. F oh, Jesus Christ, I got a lot of RP. I got 60k. <laughs> nice. I got 60k. I got 45k. Uh, that's Southampton research, so that's one less piece of crap between me and Marlborough. <laughs> and because I bailed up so much, I only made 69k net. Sag. Nice. 69. Uh, I made 237. <laughs> Yeah, I, I probably would have gotten closer to... Oh, I'm almost um, aced crew on the hip.